All right, write an a, and let me start that over. Write an equivalent inequality using an absolute value. All right, and here's how these ones work. So it's always going to be x minus or whatever variable we're using. Uh, and then we're going to be subtracting. The number we're subtracting is the number that's right in the middle of the two numbers we're comparing. So if we looked at a number line, right? This would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the number right between these would be 7 right here. That number goes in the absolute value right there. Now this one, if we graphed it, uh, this one is x is less than 5, so it would look something like this. And the 9, it's greater than 9, so it goes to the right. So on this one, <clears throat> this one's a union problem, meaning that we know that it has to eat the absolute value. Uh, when we check, this should, this should work out as well. Now this is being compared to the number that we're just looking at how far away these two are from the 7, and that's 2 away, so we're just comparing it to 2. That right there is the absolute value inequality, but let's check just to make sure that it works. So I would split this up, right? I've got x minus 7 is greater than 2. Um, well, that should give us, if I add 7 to both sides, then I get x is greater than 9, which gives us this part of the graph, or this inequality here. And if I got x minus 7 is less than negative 2, I'll still add 7 to both sides, and I get x is less than, well, 5, which is this one, and it's represented in the graph right here. So that's good.